Let's hear it for Sandeep Sen, everybody. Sandeep Sen! Guys, <laughs> yeah, keep it going for Veronica and everyone else you've seen there. Now, guys, I've been told I look like an Indian quagmire, so. <laughs> I'll make sure you know I'm aware. <laughs> I never quite know what to say when I get up here, you know? Because, like, comics are, we don't, we're the one performers who don't warm up. Like, everyone else warms up before going on. Singers do vocal exercises, dancers stretch, strippers look at pictures of their father. <laughs> crazy world we're living in, guys. Here's something I learned. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad is a British-trained ophthalmologist. This is totally true. He's a dictator slash eye doctor. So when he tortures people, he's like, what feels worse, one or two? This is one, this is two. ISIS recruiting American teenagers. This has been going on for a long time, and I'm really afraid. Because ISIS is gonna hate us way more after spending time with our teenagers. <laughs> okay, is this hummus gluten-free? Because I'm allergic. <laughs> Why are they recruiting our teenagers? They're all useless, they have ADD. <laughs> They're gonna be beheading someone. You know what, hold on, let me find the right Snapchat filter. <laughs> Okay, one more time. <laughs> Lots of people uneasy in this political environment, people upset after the election. I'm doing pretty well, because here's what's happened. Indians have become the happiest race left in America. Like, everyone else is upset. White people are upset, black people are upset, Hispanics are upset, Asians don't show emotion. <laughs> Muslims are all deported, like, we're the happiest ones left. <laughs> it's fun being Indian. We get all the street cred of being a minority and none of the jail time. <laughs> you know we have the highest per capita income of any race, and we don't even have athletes to bring up our average. <laughs> you see an Indian on ESPN is during the National Spelling Bee. <laughs> We're not even smart either, by the way. It's just like, if your name is Satya Nravenkathomani, and you've been writing that every day since you were four, <laughs> spelling conscientious isn't that hard. You know? Our names are the performance-enhancing drugs of spelling. <laughs> So like instead of doing random drug tests, they're gonna have random birth certificate tests. Like, all right, let's hand it over. What's your name? Chidanta Nanavati? You're suspended for the season. Come back when your name is Bob. But I still I love being in America. I still think whatever happens, America is the least racist country in the world. Like there is racism here, it's just worse everywhere else, because racism is a human thing. Like I'm from India. There's racism there, and there's only one race. <laughs> we couldn't find anyone to be racist against, so we chose ourselves. <laughs> well, okay, I'm brown and you're brown. Wait, you're slightly more brown. Shine my shoes, Raj. <laughs> against your own way, like, what are you complaining about? Like, I'm tired of these Indians moving in to my Indian neighborhood. I remember when it was just us Indians. Make India great again. It's pretty much based on skin color, too, like, the darker you were, the lower caste you were. I just feel bad for the guy who, the day before they started the caste system, fell asleep in the sun. Weird. Wait, we're doing what now? Oh, you got to be shitting me, come on! I feel worried that minorities are ruining America, right? That was a big thing in the election. But like, white people are the ones that voted for Trump, right? 
Like, I'm worried white people are ruining America. I'm gonna have to start my own anti-white rallies now. Like, I'm tired of these frisbee chuckers coming in here. These brunch monkeys are taking all our yoga instructor jobs. This has just become an anti-white rally. Thank you, guys. Now, there's no way yoga wasn't invented by some horny Indian dude who just realized he had chicks to whoever he wanted. As long as he made up some bullshit Indian names, you know? And they're like, okay, get on all fours now. Out your back. Stick your butt out. Dude, she's doing it. I can't believe she's doing it. Okay, now stick your chest out, spread your legs. I call this Jerkofana. I think it must be pretty hard for white supremacists to get good medical care in this country. And I feel bad because like all these doctors are Jews and Indians, right? But like, even the head of the KKK has to have at least an Indian cardiologist. And we talk shit like, you know, getting rid of Mexicans won't get rid of your cholesterol, Steve. <laughs> yes, the Holocaust might be fake, but your high blood pressure totally did. <laughs> Having some trouble dating? Uh, I just got dumped after a third date. Really, that is, it's the worst time to get dumped. If they dump you after three dates, they're saying, I was mildly attracted to you until I barely got to know you. <laughs> now I never want to see you again. <laughs> no, you look fine, it's who you are on the inside <laughs> that I find repulsive. <laughs> I don't know why women look for the same things that they do. Like, I don't know why women like confident men. Like, the worst men in the world are always the most confident. Like, I don't know what Hitler was saying in those videos, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't stuff like, I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm just speaking here. I'm open to other points of view. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You've been great.